some rainfall over the next couple of hours. So as you're doing a little traveling out there, just be aware of some of those bigger <coughs> puddles. Hydroplaning may be a concern for some. Right now, Bowling Green, we're sandwiched between the rain. We've got it out towards Glasgow and up towards Munfordville. We're seeing some of those heavier showers. More so, though, to the west at Hopkinsville, dealing with some heavier downpours right now. Franklin about to get in on some of that rain. Beaver Dam towards the Rochester area also seeing those rain showers and this is all scooting our way right now. You can see that Doppler Max has really picked up some of that heavier rain but we're not getting a whole lot of lightning here. You can see some lightning returns a bit farther south in Tennessee but it's just really the heavy rain threat over the next few hours as the rain continues to really spread on into the area and future max will really keep that rain moving through we're at midnight here and you can see the heavier rain on the eastern edge of the viewing area and then that drier air comes on in temperatures settling down into the 40s later on tonight winds pretty light to start off the day on saturday but they do pick up during the afternoon temperatures into the 60s but it will feel kind of cool if you do have any outdoor plans and there's a lot of activities going on for your saturday so you have some to choose from and the weather will be dry now we will be dealing with that risk of a frost possible late saturday night into sunday and you can see that our winds are coming in from the northwest and those temperatures only into the middle and upper 50s during your Sunday afternoon. But again, it will be on the dry side temperatures. Right now, we continue to come down Litchfield at 54 degrees up there in Elizabethtown, 55, Morgantown, 54. Here in Bowling Green, we are at 59 degrees. Winds are pretty light overall. And as they do go pretty light, if not totally calm, Saturday night and Sunday nights. Yeah, we're checking off the frost ingredients here could be dealing with that frost and with folks putting those potted plants outside, bring them in, make sure that they are in a warmer location. And it's another reminder that, yeah, you can't quite put stuff in the ground just yet because we can get some of those late season frosts. And if you have put anything in the ground, you can cover it up. All right, your forecast for tonight. We've got the evening rain moving on in. Could be heavy at times up until about midnight, 1 a.m. On the overnight, we're down into the middle 40s. And as we check out that planner tomorrow, getting a decent amount of sunshine, although we could see some extra areas of clouds as we get in the afternoon. Winds will be increasing temperatures into the lower 60s. We're a good 10 degrees below normal and will be even chillier than that for the day on a Sunday. We got those temperatures into the 50s on Sunday. Monday into Tuesday, temperatures are warming up. We're still unseasonably cool though. And our next weather maker right now looks to just bring us some rain, a lot of uncertainty in the forecast being that it is into next week. But I can tell you, we do have those chances for rain coming up and temperatures approaching 70 by Thursday. Kentucky has received more than $100 million in a tobacco settlement. The annual payment comes from the Tobacco Master Settlement Agreement. Kentucky and 51 other states and territories first made the settlement agreement with four major cigarette manufacturers in 1998. That resolved state law lawsuits against tobacco companies for Medicaid and other health costs related to smoking. The Tobacco MSA is the biggest settlement in U.S. history.